Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting question from Diophantine equation. It is cube root of x cube plus y cube over 3 cube minus xy equal to 3. And we have to find out all possible integers in the interval minus 15 to 15. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. So xy cannot be equal to 3 cube which is 27. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So this cube root cube will be over. I can write x cube plus y cube divided by 27 minus xy equal to 27. Now I can cross multiply x cube plus y cube will be equal to 27 times 27 minus x y or I can write it is 27 a square minus 27 x y. Now if I will write 27 a square this value then 27 can be written as 3 cube whole power 2 using exponent property we can swap these two values. So 3 power 2 whole cube and this is 9 whole cube. So in this place I can write 9 cube minus 27 xy. Let's take all the terms to LHS. So I can write x cube plus y cube minus 9 cube plus 27xy equal to 0. This is one very important equation for our solution purpose. Now I will be writing one algebraic identity a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equal to half times a plus b plus c in other bracket a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. So now I will provide substitution a equal to x, b equal to y and c equal to negative 9. See what will come out. So I will be writing x cube plus y cube plus minus 9 cube. So let me write here minus 9 cube and then minus 3 a b c. Let us write minus 3 x y minus 9. Now the turn of RHS half times x plus y minus 9 in other bracket x minus y whole square plus y plus 9 whole square plus minus 9 minus x whole square. So it will be x plus 9 whole square. Now left hand side if I will write then it would be matching with our equation. Let's write x cube plus y cube minus 9 cube plus 27 x y and right hand side it is equal to half x plus y minus 9 times x minus y whole square plus y plus 9 whole square plus x plus 9 whole square. Now this LHS I will put 0 as per our equation. So conclusion would be either x plus y minus 9 will be 0 or x minus y whole square plus y minus 9 whole square plus x plus 9 whole square equal to 0. Now we have to solve these two equations. So from first equation if I will write, let's consider first equation. 
so I can write x plus y equal to 9. So if I will consider x0 and y9, then its addition would be 9. Second set or ordered pair I can consider 1, 8. Then I can write 2, 7. Then I can consider 3, 6. Then I can consider 4, 5. And then 5, 4, 6, 3. 7, 2. 8, 1. And 9, 0. So these are our ordered pairs. If I will write, then 0, 9, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6. We will write at last. So overall 10 values are here. Now let's check for negative values also. So I will be writing here x plus y equal to 9 for negative set. So if I will consider minus 1 as x, then y would be equal to 10. If I will consider x minus 2, then y should be equal to 11 minus 3. Then I should consider 12 here minus 4 then I should write 13 here minus 5 then I will be writing 14 here after that if I will write then minus 6 and 15 which is not in the interval x y should lie in the interval minus 15 to 15 only so I am not writing now we will swap the x and y so I can write here 14 with y in minus 5. So this will will write the 13 minus 4, 12 minus 3, 11 minus 2, 10 minus 1. We will get some 9. So here we have another 10 values. Now I will consider equation second. So this is x, it was minus y whole square plus y plus 9 whole square plus x plus 9 whole square equal to 0. Sum of squares equal to 0, we have to consider x minus y will be 0, y plus 9 equal to 0 and x plus 9 equal to 0. So from here I can write x equal to y. From here I can write y equal to negative 9. And from here I can write x equal to negative 9. So conclusion from here we can write x comma y it should be negative 9 comma negative 9. Let us write our final answer in ordered pair. So I will be writing here x comma y. It would be equal to. I can write 0, 9, first value, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6. Then we can write 4, 5. Then we will write 5, 4 then 6, 3, then 7, 2, then 8, 1, then 9, 0. Then I will be writing our remaining 10 with negative values. So I will be writing minus 1, 10. Then I will consider minus 2, 11. Then minus 3, 12 then minus 4 13 then I will be writing minus 5 14 then I will swap x y so it would be 14 comma negative 5 13 comma negative 4 then 12 comma negative 3 then 11 comma negative 2 and last value I will be writing 10 comma negative 1. So 10 plus 10, 20. And the third solution pair, it would be minus 9, minus 9. So these are our final ordered pairs. I hope friends you will like this video. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बाय टेल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ गुड बाय